Hello everyone, welcome to my Hornby 00 train room. Today I'd like to discuss uh, track cleaning. I've had quite a few requests to, uh, to make a video on this and as you can see I have a, quite a large layout with uh, 900 foot of track and uh, probably 500 foot of which are the main running lines. So, this is what I like to use to uh, the lighter fluid to, to clean the, the uh, it dissolves the, uh, the dirt very well. And just to demonstrate that, I'll uh, just put a little bit on a, on a tissue and uh, let's have a look. This is just wiped down. Just you can see that's just from one short length it dissolves it straight away but when you do it like that you need to polish it off as well because it does leave the dissolved dirt a little layer of that on there so you just polish it off a little bit and uh, as you can see it's still picking it up as you can see that'll work uh, methylated spirits uh, I tested it doesn't doesn't work doesn't seem to work any better than than water and uh, just a safety tip here uh, don't throw contaminated rags in, in your waste bin they, they, they are they are flammable and uh, it's possible that you get this auto combustion I've, I've heard about so just pop them in a the tin Put a lid on, and that way, if they do try to combust, it'll be safe. Okay, now I do a deep clean every, uh, I don't know, once a year or once every few months. I use a block of wood that's got uh, some of this Spuntex uh, dish dishcloth uh, material. I find that works well. I put some fluid on here. And then I can just clean off like that. Now in the in the far reaching corners, I have a little uh, little pole here, and I can do it like that to to do the areas I can't reach. But that's a bit uh, laborious doing it that way. The points, uh, the points you will need to just wrap uh, uh, some cloth around your finger and then just clean in this direction so you don't get caught on the hung up on the uh, points on the points themselves there. So that's what makes it a bit laborious, but it needs to be done every year or something like that. Now this uh, trying track cleaner is what I use one of the ways I, I use in between the deep cleaning it works well but again it's a bit a bit slow because uh, it's a very small small area and it gets dirty very quick so I, I go around once and then I have to I have to unroll I got some clips in the top I have to unroll it thread it through a little bit more and you know feed it through a little bit more and then put the fluid on and then run it again. And I spend more time doing that than what it does cleaning. This one I've modified by just putting some lead weights that uh, come through the hole there. That, that makes the, gives it a bit, bit, a bit of weight and keeps the carriage down and the weight is direct on the, on the track. As I say, it does work, and uh, for a smaller layout, it's probably uh, quite sufficient. Now, to speed up the process, I've, I've made some other other ways of doing this. Um, here, for example, is a it's a wooden block with a little lead weight in there, and it's got Velcro on two sides, so I can just wrap the wrap the the spuntex cloth around it just cut into strips like that 
Now that will fit into a, a well troll. So I've removed the, uh, the, the base from. So that will fit in, fit in there like that. Put some fluid on. So the weight of this is, is on the track. Then hook it up onto a loco. One that's got the power to pull it, of course. And off it goes. Okay, while well that's going around, um, another use for the lighter fluid is to put a bit on a Q-tip and clean clean their wheels, etc. When they get dirty from 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 working on the track. And here comes the okay, coming back. You can see it's quite over. And this one I can just turn. So I just pick it up, put a bit of fluid on, put put it back in there. It only takes a second, then it's off again. Also, it has a lot larger area than the, the one there. So it, uh, you can see, it's been working quite well. And another method that, uh, without destroying a wagon, is to use. Um, let's have a look. I just got some lead here. I use. Uh, Roofing lead, like that. I just fold it up, to cut it to the right width. Easy to cut. Just put that on there like so. And then just a regular wagon. There's nothing, nothing special about it. Just put the wagon on there. And that goes off as well. It does rub on the wheels, but it doesn't stop it. And you need to put the fold at the front, because if you have this edge oh yeah that's also got bel velcro on it to stop the material but that's not really wide enough to it does all the straights it does fine but when it gets to the to the radius it doesn't cover the outside edge too well so i've got a a, a little wider one here same idea velcro with a little bit of lead so it's got a nice bit of weight to it and I use a, a brake van because that is wider than the other ones so it just fits straight on there like so and off that goes. Now you can put some fluid on of course first and then uh, polish, send it around dry a few times as well afterwards. If you want to do several laps of course. And uh, here it comes now, down the other side. So this uh, my line is a, a scale mile long, so that's just been a, a mile in less than a minute, so it was going quite fast. And that's again quite easy. Just put some more fluid on, flip it over, and away it goes again. So there's a couple of uh, a few methods to use. If you uh, if you you don't want to use this, you can use. I have a a tank engine that I use mostly. This is dedicated for for cleaning actually. And I've got a little lead weight that I put in the back. That uh, there we go. Acts as coal as well. But uh, I I use that uh, that often to uh, to do my cleaning. I mean, you could even. With the with the uh, with the bobo, you could put uh, both of them together like so, and and pull the two of them around. Let's uh, let's try that. You have to excuse me. I'm working the camera as well as a. I should have the power to pull that. There we go. So you could have a two in one lapse. So I didn't couple that up, but anyway, you get the idea there. Okay, I think that's about it. Um, just a few 
interesting points that uh, are modifications or additions to my layout. I've added a uh, little remote controlled camera here. It works, uh, camera, uh, uh, yeah, camera. But it uh, it works with my phone, so uh, I can get a, a view of my turntable while I'm sat over at the operating position over there. So it does make it a, a lot easier. For, right, before I was using a mirror, but since I built, built the roundhouse, it's a little bit difficult to see down into the into this sort of area here. So uh, I'll put the camera on. It seems to work nicely, and the camera can be directed to any part of the layout, zoom in, and everything. Uh, what else have I got? I made a video already on my new uh, my new circus operating circus. It works very well. It's about 30 years old, but it still works very nicely. If you want to see it in in action, you can go to my other video on that. And uh, oh, over here, I've recently put some uh, put some mirrors in. So you can see the effect and if you look at the coaches I have one here I've made these I made these up years ago because I did the same on a smaller layout put some mirrors in I wanted to have the effect that I'm showing you here you see the, the train there with the blood and custard coaches and then the other side of the coach is red so when it goes past the mirror it looks like it's a different train I need to add some more mirrors, but uh, I think the effect is, uh, is, is, is quite good. It's a bit confusing actually <laughs> to tell where the layout starts and where the mirror starts. Okay, thank you very much for watching this video. And I'll make some more again soon. Thank you, bye bye.